at you and uh, just want to do a little something extra today I'm um, trying to get a couple videos done but I definitely wanted to share this pack with you guys uh, this is my new this is my new pack period uh, it has taken over uh, all the other packs that I was using this to me is my perfect pack um, it is a mystery ranch three-day assault pack now the reason I say it's the perfect pack for me uh, I did used to have quite a larger pack this pack is only 2,000 cubic inches uh, or 33 liters however you want to say that um, and I found myself really bringing too much along um, whether it be just for a weekend or for a five-day trip um, I just really started bringing too much stuff and just not being able to enjoy myself as much as I should have and if any of you are avid backpackers or hikers you know exactly what I'm talking about trying to lighten the load um, it's a never-ending quest with that being said this to me is my new perfect pack and for a few reasons one right off the bat you can see it's got tape seams it is a tri-zip design that means that you've got a lift up top here and then you can go straight down the middle for easy access okay and uh, actually I've got some of uh, my some of my waterproof stow bags some of my other my pack stuff I'll do a video on those one day too <clears throat> basically what you've got here is a tri-zip opening um, get some other stuff out of there all right you've got a two zippers on the top where you can I like to put my fire gear and some extra paracord in there. Uh, by the way, this is some Trippies Night Eyes Reflective. Everybody should have these if you're tenting, uh, for your guidelines. This is a must, man. Especially when you're with other people. So they don't, you know, there's always somebody that gets up in the middle of the night. And uh, it's nice when they don't trip on your tent stuff. Um, it has got some pouches in here. I've got a little toothbrush I cut down, I keep in there. Um, you know, anything you just want really quick access to. It's got a little bit of hook and loop um, real estate up here if you want to throw some morale patches up there. Um, it does have a second zipper up top, and this pouch is a little bit larger, as you can see. And basically what that is, that's this whole mesh part here. In fact, let me see if I can do this. Yeah, see there's my hand. So the whole top pouch, this whole area here, uh, you can fill from this back compartment here. All right, so I like to keep my rain gear in there. Uh, my jacket fits really nice just in that one pocket, and that way it's really quick. Um, I can either have somebody else grab it real quick out of my pack for me, uh, and don't even have to take my pack off, but the nice thing is they don't have to go into my main compartment of my pack to get it, and neither do I. Um, also, on the inside, you've got several, several. You got a zippered pouch here. You have a, the same zippered pouch here, okay? Where I just like to keep things that, you know, that are just falling into the bottom of the pack all the time. Chapstick, etc. Um, it does have, see if I can do this. This pouch right here is for a hydration bladder. You can put here. And then it's actually got two zippers. One's right here, and one's right here. So you can go either to your right or your left side, uh, whichever shoulder you'd like your tube to come over. So I thought that was pretty cool. You know, they don't force you to go over one side. People like me are pretty particular about stuff, so it's nice to have the options. Um, also, you've got these two huge, and when I mean huge, the full length of my arm, one of these on either side and this goes the full length of the main compartment. Um, what I plan on using these for, actually, you can actually take a pair of pants and instead of folding them over and rolling them or whatever, you can actually fold them in half, roll them lengthways, and they actually will fit in this pouch quite nicely. Um, so, you know, you can have your evening sleepwear in this pouch, pair of another pants, spare pants in this pouch if you're bringing that much clothes with you. If not, it's also great for uh, tent poles, etc. <clears throat> but anyway, that's pretty much the main compartment of the pack. Now as you can see, you've got a couple buckles here. 
for compression, which is very nice. This pack actually, and I'm going to zoom in for you guys. When you get everything said and done and you get everything in here that you're going to pack in here, this pack compresses extremely nice. Uh, a lot of packs, you know, you get loaded and they want to, you get them on your back and you start to hike and they start, they kind of roll on your back and you really have to like cinch them down. This pack, not at all. And I'm going to show you a couple reasons why. But once you get everything in here and you get everything all nice, um, they've got these keepers, which are very nice for your straps. Um, so they're not swinging in the wind and getting snagged on stuff. That's great. Um, also, these buckles right here. That's what I really wanted to zoom in to show you real quick. These are actually locking buckles, um, which I think is very cool. So once you get them in, you snap it, you cinch them down. This piece right here actually locks. Okay. And that way, there is no way, if you can see that, yeah, it actually locks. So this cannot move on its own. Um, you know, a lot of these cheaper packs, you cinch them, you start moving, and they start loosening them up immediately. Um, not going to happen with this pack. Probably the best buckles I've ever found on any backpacking pack ever. Um, also, to get back to the whole rolling on your back thing, uh, when you get a pack and you get it loaded down, um, you know, you start hiking, this thing has a tendency, or mo some packs have a tendency to roll on your back. You know, you roll to the left, you roll to the right with each one of your steps, and you really got to cinch everything down. With this pack, I'm going to, real quick, with this pack, what this has is actually kind of, I want to say a lumbar system, but it's not really a lumbar system. What these are, these are filled pouches here. And it really keeps your back centered in this center channel here. And these right here go on either side of your side. So it really keeps the pack positioned on your back. And whether you're jumping, hiking, running, I mean, I wouldn't do too much running, but if you had to, this thing isn't going to be, you know, all over your back. It's going to stay on your back right where it's supposed to be. Um, which I find very cool. It's extremely comfortable. Once you get it where you want it, it's not going to go anywhere. Another thing great about these packs, um, this huge pay of attention of detail, everything, every single thing on this pack is paid attention to detail. Um, the suspension system in itself is all ventilated, this whole thing. It's purely customizable to you. It's a little, it's going to be a little difficult for me to show you. If you go on their website, they have a video where you actually open this compartment here and this system which they call the future futura system uh, you can raise this and lower this to your body height um, and it really positions the suspension of the pack where it needs to be without putting the actual pack in an uncomfortable position so you actually put the pack on and then fit it fit these straps the whole suspension system to you to the yoke of yourself and then the pack stays centered on your back. The only other system I've seen like that is the Camelback Tri-Zip and it's this design and it's made by Mystery Ranch and licensed by Mystery Ranch. Um, the Camelback Tri-Zip is an extremely similar pack. They're just, I just like the original Mystery Ranch pack. But uh, anyway, oh yeah, you do have hydration pouches on the sides. So if, and they're big enough for Nalgene bottles, which I really like. Um, you got some Molly real estate here and on the other side here, right there. Um, you've also got some more Molly on the bottom of the pack, which is very convenient. And you've got two straps on the bottom that I've used to put my tent underneath here and it held it very securely. Um, let's see. Also, oh, before I forget. <laughs> A lot of people are going to be like, hey, where's your waist strap? Well, this pack, which I find very convenient, has a stowable waist belt. How about that? And these are the thick live wings. They're not th just this little cheapy waistband like that. You actually get nice, thick, comfortable padding. And when you're not using it, it stores right in the pack. 
which I find very convenient when you're storing. Let me see if I can get this. Whoa. All right. When you're storing the actual pack itself um, is very convenient. Uh, and like I said, it doesn't take but a second, literally, to pull them out. And then you've got your waist belt. Also, you've got more molly on either side, so you can attach any pouches or anything you would like there. Very comfortable waist belt. All right, I'm going to edit this down for you guys. If you have any questions, hit me up, let me know. Check out uh, Mystery Ranch's website. They've got a ton of different packs, and uh, hopefully it's informative and you enjoyed it. South Carolina Mike out.